At the height of his career, chef Mario Batali seemed unstoppable. What could possibly go wrong? That's Batali on The Chew, the ABC talk show that he co-hosted for six seasons, just one part of an empire that included restaurants, cookbooks, and shares in Italy, USA. Mario Batali was a superstar chef. He was a larger than life persona. You could find him on TV, but he also was a serious chef. But according to industry insiders, his star power belied disturbing behavior. An Eater investigation published in 2017 featured allegations of sexual misconduct spanning decades. It included a response from Batali. According to Eater, Batali did not deny all the allegations, saying that they match up with ways he has behaved. The accusations halted Batali's career and sparked an industry reckoning, says Boston Globe restaurant critic Devra First. This had been one of those open secrets in the hospitality industry. You know, apparently he had this nickname, the Red Menace, and had a reputation widely within New York hospitality, but everyone didn't know, obviously. More people came forward with accusations against Batali. One of them was a woman in Boston where Batali had shares in Italy, the upscale Italian market. In Boston, I think Batali was probably best known for Italy. When it opened here, it was a huge big deal. He came to town, you know, there was a ton of press around it. People were really excited about it. The woman crossed paths with Batali in a restaurant next to Italy in Boston's Back Bay. She said a drunken Batali forcibly kissed and groped her as she took selfies with him. Months later, in May of 2018, the woman's account appeared on Eater's website with similar accusations from other women. After the story ran, the woman who revealed her name, Natalie Tene, went to police. Batali was charged in April of 2019 with one count of indecent assault and battery. It's the first criminal charge he's faced in connection with any of the allegations. The NYPD closed cases concerning Batali due to insufficient evidence. Batali's lawyers say the photos will show that he did not assault Tene. They also claim Tene's text messages to friends reveal a financial motive. Batali faces up to five years in prison if a jury convicts him.